GMO I am Kumangai Masatoshi, the representative of, of GMO Internet. We end our business here on December, so this will be the full year results earnings for 2020. Today's agenda is as seen here. First of all, this is the summary of this year's earnings. From last year, in January 26, as the first ever as a Japanese company, we have started teleworking. Within our group, we call the employees partners. We focus on the life and the health of our partners. But at the same time, as a company that supports the infrastructure of the Internet, we strive to stably support and provide services. In terms of the environment, Around New Year last year, I thought that maybe 5G might be the trigger. But actually, through the pressure of COVID-19, the Internet has accelerated and we have grown with it. As management, overcoming this national emergency called COVID-19 and supporting the world with the Internet under the strong determination as a group overall, we overcame the situation. What we have been continuing to do for 25 years has been asked for from a lot of people. I strongly felt that way for 2020. As a result, performance-wise, sales, operating income, ordinary income has record a uh, record high level. In terms of the net income, it has increased substantially. This is the summary of each of the segments. On the right hand side, I am showing a subjective evaluation from my point of view as excellent, good, fair, and poor. Infrastructure is double circle meaning excellent. They have been able to achieve a record high level of sales through and profit from the second quarter onwards through stay-at-home consumption and online consumption stayed at a high level, specifically in EC, settlement, access, has contributed greatly to our performance. Rather than being a one-off effect, this, these seem to be a new trend. For advertisement in media, my evaluation is fair slash poor. Sales has increased slightly Profit has gone down. In terms of the advertisement, the COVID-19, under COVID-19, it has been stable, so it is fair. Our own products that we are focusing on, ad tech has been robust, but media, because of investment, the profit has gone down. This segment overall is only the slightly negative side. I hope they will perform better from uh, next year onwards. In terms of finance, it is excellent. Because of COVID, the first half there was a high volatility and specifically performance was good. And we have seen the increase of both sales and profit. For Forex, we have seen a substantial increase in transaction volume and we have been able to retake the number one share in the world. In CFD, we have seen the increase of our customer base and as a second pillar following FX, it is contributing to our performance. As a result, my evaluation is excellent. Going to crypto asset, this is good. The exchange business under GMO coin, on top of the expansion of the transaction volume, the new business, the altcoin transaction has increased and this has pushed up the performance. In the mining business, the new site has started operation and it has turned profitable in the fourth quarter. And stablecoin GN, we have been able to get a permit from a U.S. financial authority. And we are targeting next month to issue this outside of Japan. In this segment, we have overcome various difficulties. And I think we have been able to get at the starting line to recover their investment. So from uh, this year onwards, I hope that uh, they will do well so that, and I'm very sure that it'll become a num number three pillar. So this is the evaluation of being good. Going to the next slide. This is a trend of the full year performance. 
you can see that we have been able to see an increase in both sales and profit for 12 years in a row. So this is a bi-segment sales and profit increase and decrease uh, compared to the previous year. On the top is sales, on the bottom is operating income. Although there has been negative impact from VC from the previous year, the core business, that is infrastructure and finance, has been strong. We have seen a 14.3 billion yen increase of sales, 2.61 billion yen increase of profit. Next is shareholder return. As I have been saying from before, a basic policy is the 50% of total return ratio, out of which 33% or more will be coming from dividends and the remaining 17% will be coming through share buybacks. Next is the dividend per share. This year, we again will not uh, disclose our forecast. In terms of the dividends, we have been announcing it on a quarterly basis. For this quarter, the dividend will be 10.6 yen. The full year dividend will be increasing by 6.6 yen to 30.8 yen. This is the total shareholder return amount. This is a total of the dividend payment amount and the share buyback amount. In terms of the share buybacks, the blue portion is the portion that we already have canceled. The gray portion is where we are planning to cancel. Since we changed our shareholder return policy in June 2015, Overall, we have bought back 15.8 billion yen worth of our own shares. Last year, what we bought for last year, as we have disclosed previously, for the portion that uh, using the resources, as, uh, the net income resources for 2019 and 2020, we have decided that we're going to cancel as of this today. Last year at the full year results meeting, we have promised that we will buy back 15 billion of our shares, but we are not being able to do that fully within uh, the period. This year for the remaining 5.6 billion, we will use this as a resource to further buy back our shares. We will steadily go forward in our commitment. From the next slide onwards, I would like to ask Mr. Yasuda, Group CFO, to make a presentation. From this slide, Yasuda will explain. This is the outline of our performance. This is the bi-segment quarterly sales trend. As a trend, at the very lower part of the bar, the dark blue infrastructure business, at the center, you can see that we are continuing a growth. Going to the bi-segment quarterly operating income trend, the dark blue infrastructure the light blue finance, both segments at the center is showing a growth trend. In terms of the finance, there is a volatility on a quarterly basis, but overall, if you look at, at the full year basis, you can see that it is achieving a double digit growth. Going to the overview of the group, out of the listed 10 group companies, this is the market cap and our equity portion. On the lower part of the slide, the total amount of the market cap is about 1.9 trillion yen, and our equity portion is over 670 billion yen. This is the overview of our four business domains. The size of the domains shows the sales composition. The number of contracts for the infrastructure affects securities and crypto assets, number of assets, a number of accounts here. The solid earnings basis as the customer basis and you can see that account number 13.29 million. So going to the number of partners, we call our staff's employees partners, so this is the situation. At the end of December, the number of partners was 6,180, out of which creators such as engineers 
with uh, creators that has high technology, the ratio is 45.6%. Bringing the creators ratio to more than 50% is a target. We will continue to invest in human resources. Next is the infrastructure business. As you can see, this is the contents of infrastructure business. Domain, crowd hosting, ASP cart, SSL security, settlement, access. In each case, we have aggregation of number one services. At the end of December, in this number one service group, a new service called eSeal GMO sign has been added. These are all services that is indispensable and the type of service that will not go away for the internet and the society. This is a six year trend of the infrastructure business in terms of the full year results. As I have been saying every year, the continuous growth of the inf infrastructure business is the earnings model of the stock type and transaction type and the combination of the expanding customer base and we call this the rock solid earnings base. This strong growth can be achieved because we are an aggregation of the number one service. Going to the quarterly sales trend and uh, contents. In the following the second and third quarter, we had the state of home consumption and telework demand, access, EC support, and settlement has been strong. In the third quarter, the overseas subsidiaries engaged in settlement has been deconsolidated, so quarter on quarter there has been a decline in sales temporarily, but as I have said previously, on a quarter on quarter basis, it has returned to increase sales trend. Going to the quarterly operating income trend. The most recent quarter, well, year over year, is a increased and quarter over quarter it has gone down. In terms of the details, I would like to use the next slide to explain. This is the profit of the infrastructure business and it divides between settlement and non-settlement business and the total cost. The settlement business under GMOPG has increased substantially but the non-settlement business, whether it be year over year and quarter over quarter, the profit has declined. The major reason behind this is that uh, we have been proactive in marketing investment starting in GMO Pippable. Basically, we have shifted the marketing investment that was planned in the first half into the second half. And uh, we have also shortened the expiration date of the SSL to improve the security and there has been a unit price decline and this has been a one-off impact. This is not related to the actual demand and this impact will be normalized from August to 2021 onwards. In terms of the overall cost, there has been some one-off factors such as performance-linked bonuses. As you can see from the quarterly sales trend, you can see that the business momentum is quite strong. So the settlement and non-settlement business, we think we'll be able to maintain a well-balanced growth. Next is the contract numbers of infrastructure is 11.58 million. The Registration of domain, domain has increased on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. The strong growth we are seeing specifically is in EECL GMO sign business. From the end of June, we have focused on the campaign called Goodbye Seal Campaign as a whole group. Even after that, through the network effect, we have been able to see an expansion of our customer base. At the end of December, the number of accounts has increased 37 times year over year, reaching 140,000. We have become number one in Japan. In terms of the ECL GMO sign, Mr. Kumagai will talk about it in more detail afterwards. This is the EC support business overall uh, transaction volume situation. Color me shop, make shop. We have this um, EC platform businesses, and we have this new type of EC such as Minne and Suzuri. In terms of the quarterly transaction volume, it is over 120 billion yen. Year over year, it has grown by 46%, so we can see that the growth has started to re-accelerate. Out of the transaction volume, about 40% uh, is through the GMO payment gateway settlement. Next is the advertisement and media business. This is the this is the six-year full-year result trend of the advertisement and media business. This year, advertisement 
Despite the COVID-19, it has been stable, but we have invested in new media, so the profit has declined. Going to the quarterly sales trend of the advertisement and media business. On a quarterly basis, both advertisement and media sales has increased year over year. It has increased by 4.7%. This slide shows the quarterly operating profit trend. GMO research performed strongly by capturing the demand at the year end in Q4. Next is internet finance segment. This is the performance trend for the past six years. Although it was not the record high, profit increased 24.7% year on year. In order to maintain and expand the number one share in FX trading, which is our main product, we narrowed the spread, leading to a decline year on year, but the trading value and profit expanded, backed by strong CFD market, which we had been focusing on from before, while maintaining the number one FX trading volume, we generated profit exceeding 10 billion yen and furthermore enriched our product lineup, which we take as positive for us. This is a quarterly trend. While CFD was strong, sales and profit declined due to the impact of reduced spread to expand our number one FX market share in Japan. This is the trend of FX trading volume and our domestic share. Trading volume continued to maintain high level, and we were able to recover our number one global uh, share globally in annual trading volume. Next is crypto asset segment. We have three businesses under crypto assets. They are mining, exchange, and payment. Crypto assets will remove the borderline of money from the world. We have been engaged in development of this business, believing the potential of changing the currency, financial businesses, as a result, the world. I would like to give an update on each one of them. This is the yearly performance for the four years. I feel that we have finally come to a stage for harvesting where we are able to recover our investment for crypto asset segment, as Mr. Kumagai mentioned in the beginning. On the other hand, the crypto assets market situation has changed significantly from last year, but looking at this fiscal year, I get the impression this change has not been incorporated yet. Both sales and profit increase in exchange and mining businesses, but because of development investments for GN, our stable coin, profit declined. For your information, we have received approval for the launch of GN from the U.S. Authority last December. This is the quarterly trend of crypto asset segment as a whole. Because of the stablecoin development investments I have just talked about, this segment had increase in sales and decrease in profits from Q3. As the sales are on an increasing trend, we feel the investment recovery period is coming close. I would like to explain mining business and exchange business separately, respectively. First, the mining business. Q on Q, there is an increase in sales and it turned profitable. We closed the center at the end of June and we were operating in the new center only since July. Although there was a one-off trouble at the time, of the launch in Q3, we are enjoying stable operations since Q4. With the increase in crypto assets prices, mining profitability has increased and mining business has come to a harvesting period. This is our hash rate and the mined Bitcoin amount. The blue line is the hash rate at the end of the month. The yellow line is the monthly average. The bar graph shows the reference profit multiplying hash rate at the end of the month and the mining amount. Our hash rate now is close to 550 petahash. Mining amount is expanding due to increase in average hash rate and crypto assets prices. This is the exchange business. We enjoyed increase in both sales and profit Q on Q as well as Y on Y. 
This is a substantial increase in sales with the tailwind of active market and trading increase in altcoin. This is all from me. Domestic share foundation both are expanding. This is all from me. Now, I would like to pass the microphone to Mr. Kumagai again. From here on, I would like to give you an update and our vision on our focus business electronic seal service GMO sign. Starting today, we will change the name GMO electronic seal agree to electronic seal GMO sign. I would like to share the KPIs. First, this is the number of accounts, which is nearly equal to number of users who signed up for the service. As of the end of December, it exceeded 140,000, overtaking CloudSign, our competitor, and we became the number one in terms of the number of companies adopting electronic contract service in Japan. We made this release. The number of accounts exceeded 160,000 now. We received around 90,000 applications during the three months of October to December and really feel the full-fledged dig digitalization of companies. Next is the changes in number of contracts transmitted. This refers to the number of electronic contracts sent to the counterparty. How many seals are used? As you can see, it grew 2.6 folds year on year. It will catch up with the number of accounts shown in the previous page. We have not been able to catch up to CloudSign yet, but we believe that it will grow in line with the number of accounts. Now, this is the biggest message that I have for you today. How would the future of SEALs be? As you can see, SEALs will be like this. I am pretty sure about this, which means the future of SEALs will be in the smartphones. They will be apps. The future of electronic SEALs we aim to realize is a world where you do not need to physically carry various seals and tokens yourselves, but you will be able to use seals anywhere using smartphones anytime. We are coming close to the middle of the 21st century. We can say goodbye to the previous century's troubles, such as you need to go to the office just to put seals on documents, or you need to run to a dollar shop to buy a seal because it was necessary for a certain procedure or you had to search everywhere to find your officially registered seal and maybe you need to register you can say goodbye to such troubles gmo internet group will make our utmost efforts to embed gmo sign inside your smartphones I just received a real estate related contract from London. I signed this contract using this smartphone. It's very, very convenient. I just sent it back to London. There's no time lag with London. Instantly, you can put a seal. It's very, very convenient. There's no reason why it would not penetrate smartphones in Japan can be are linked to my number which is social security and electronic certification can be linked issued and it's it can be used for private sector a public sector contracts as well this function is GMO global signs my number linked official registered seal and uh, this can be embedded in the app gmo sign can be linked with my number 
and it can be used as casual stamp, casual seal, or officially registered seal. We want to provide this very convenient tool, and this is the future of electronic seal that we are envisioning. By having all seals replaced by GMO signs, seals, a future will soon be realized where electronic seal and electronic contract for everyone's use will be realized. Was it just the contract papers that you put seals on? I don't think so. Quotations, bills, receipts, medical certificates, diplomas, and others. There are just so many documents, probably hundreds of billions of documents, and printing them, putting seal, enclosing them in the envelope, sending them, and maybe you had to put a stamp on it. You had to buy, go to the post office and buy a stamp and also sort out these documents, sort them out, store them as well. It's a lot of work at GMO Internet Group. These massive documents, and putting seals, instead of that, we have a solution. We have Electronic Seal Solution DSS has been developed. We already have started providing this service. Electronic Seal Solution DSS and user companies systems can be linked and important documents will have timestamp and electronic seal and they can be sent. GMO sign is already offering merge documents and bulk transmission function and regardless of the volume, bills, receipts, standard contracts, need to be sent and therefore you need to go to the office just to put a seal on and you don't need to do that anymore you can just use our service we aim to realize this kind of a world under this vision and we would like to make a statement about a GMO sign for everyone we want everyone to be able to use this service. GMO signed this electronic seal. It supports electronic contracts and the biggest differentiating factor compared to the competitors. I would like to talk about this. Our group's GMO Global Sign Holdings has been operating electronic certification business for many years where there's just a few in the world. We are using our technology to operate this business. Needless to say, we have number one share in Japan for our main service of SLS, SSL server certification market. Global Science Public Key is used in almost 100% of the web browsers, including Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Apple Safari servers and browsers. The technology to communicate them is SLL, SSL. So even if you have certification authority, unless there's a key in the browser you use, it's useless. We have been building both of them, taking many years up until now. And iPhones, Android smartphones you have in all the smartphones, our SSL seal is installed. And with this track record of global operation, it is used by global providers such as DocuSign and Adobe Sign and GMO Global Signs certificates are being used in each of the services. With the advancement of DX digital transformation, global demand is increasing every day and the number of monthly signatures increased to 2 million times last year. It is almost impossible to start a trusted certification authority like GMO Global Sign from now, and this is a very valuable strength for GMO Internet Group. By having such a certification authority ourselves, this is GMO Global Sign certificates and services that are used, and some examples of them 
our GMO sign, and looking at the industry overall, our GMO Global Sign Certificate is being used by OneSign, Emaos, DocuSign, Adobe Sign, SignifLow, Major Electronic Seal, Electronic Signature Vendors are adopting them, and it supports electronic seals in Japan and globally. And now, from here on, our GMO sign, would this become a de facto in electronic seal in Japan? Why could that be? I would like to talk about this. The conclusion is that our GMO internet groups Collective power is the reason why this becomes de facto. GMO sign, electronic seal, overtook cloud sign, and we have become number one in terms of number of users. And that is because we have 130 million contracts that we have. We have a very strong, solid consumer, customer base, and that is why. And our infrastructure, or financial services, daily new applications are at least 10,000, sometimes 20,000 applications are sent to us. So every day we get more than 10,000 contracts and GMO sign can be used as a cross-sell base and we can expect to increase I see an, an increase in number of customers by 1 million per year. So please look forward to this. Leveraging the collective power of GMO Internet Group. For example, regular payment, as is described on contract, can be done online, which other companies have not been able to start. Uh, we have been able to do this by cooperating with GMO Payment Gateway to realize this agree payment and also linking my number card which is tantamount to officially registered stamps and we have been able to realize this by cooperating with GMO Global Sign. We will be adding new services with speed, uh, unique services uh, going forward so please look forward to it. And now as a closing I would like to talk about the outlook for fiscal 2021 for each of the segment. On the very right side, there are circles and triangles. These are subjective views of mine. Infrastructure segment continues to be double circle. It's a collection of overwhelming number one businesses. We expect to see double digit growth this fiscal year as well. In this segment, GMO electronic seal GMO sign uh, would be made uh, the overwhelming number one service advertising and media segment. Last year was triangle and X, but this year it's triangle. We can remove the X this year. Advertising products will remain to be stable and strong and our own products, our own media will be enhanced and next fiscal year onwards. So rather than this fiscal year next year, uh, this will become a growth driver internet finance, it's double tri double circle FX. A sophistication of position management using AI and big data and through sophistication of B2B transactions, uh, we would like to continue to make efforts to expand profits by pressing with increase in profitability. And CFD, uh, we would like to be proactive in uh, advertisement to raise awareness and expand the customer base by enhancing transaction tool and we would like to cross sell and grow crypto assets we believe it will grow to be double circle and it will become the third pillar following infrastructure and finance that's how we feel and during the 25 years we have been focusing on internet infrastructure business and internet finance business we believe that our decisions and our actions were right. And we believe we will be able to achieve results and show them to the investors. 
and thank you very much for your attention. Internet for everyone.